Coming to you live from New York City, you're watching Astrology, Numerology Now for Monday, November 11th, excuse me, November 18th, for November 18th, 2019. I'm your host, you already know, this is Z Starman, we got a new background tonight. So this is Z Starman bringing you the latest astrology news and information as I've said on this network for the last 12 seasons, real astrology, real numerology in real time. If you want to talk to me, if you've got an astrology numerology question, no matter where you're watching from in Manhattan or live on Manhattan Neighborhood Network, or if you're watching live online on MNN.org, please give me a call. Let's show them the number control room. 212-757-1393 is the number to call. Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Welcome to Astrology Numerology Now. I want to say hello to all my viewers who are watching the show on the BCAT channel in Brooklyn, New York, BK All Day. If you're watching this show, it is the 24th of November. Welcome to Astrology Numerology Now, everybody. I'm Z Starman once again, and we got a lot to talk about. We got a lot to talk about. Again, you can call the show if you're watching online. Um, the first thing I'm gonna talk about is we're closing out November. We're closing out November with the last of November 2019 highlights. So if you want to, everybody just stay there. Don't change the channel. Don't change the dial, especially you Capricorns, you Aries people, you uh, Sagittarius people. You don't want to change the dial because you want to listen to everything I got to say on tonight's broadcast, especially, again, if you're a Capricorn or you're a Sagittarius, or if you're a, a Scorpio, this, this show is dedicated to you. So Brooklyn, welcome to the show. Again, it's November Highlights 2019. And the first thing we're gonna talk about, we're saying goodbye. We're saying goodbye to Scorpio season. Scorpio season is coming to an end. So we're saying goodbye to Scorpio season. And I want to say a happy birthday to all the Scorpios and people with Scorpio rising. It's over. Your time of the year is over. And up next, it's Sagittarius season. It's Sagittarius season. So we're, we're going to say, begin to say on this show, and especially if you're watching in Brooklyn now, it's Sagittarius season. So happy birthday to all the Sagittarius. There's the, the constellation for the sign of Sagittarius. And the Native American symbol for the sign of Sagittarius is the owl. It's the owl. We do Native American symbols on astrology, numerology now. There's all kinds of astrology systems. Um, but here on astrology, numerology now, we basically use the tropical astrology system, whereas Things are based on the seasons, summer, spring, winter, or fall. And it is the owl season in Native American astrology. 212-757-139. The village in Greenwich Village, if you're watching on the Upper East Side, in Harlem, in Little Italy, Upper West Side, if you're watching on the Verizon channel, which is shown throughout New York City, give me a call right now, 
1393. Up next, after uh, Sagittarius season, and just a little bit about Sagittarius. Sagittarius, our producer Dietrich Kelsey is a Sagittarius. Like many Sagittarius people, they're very happy. They're very uh, uh, optimistic because their ruling planet is Jupiter. Sagittarius is ruling planet is Jupiter. So if you have Sagittarius rising sign along with any other planets in Sagittarius, this is your lucky time of the year. Along with the other fire signs like Aries and also like Leo. So Sagittarian people are the most optimistic people you want to know or people you want to meet. It's just those arrows. Sagittarius is half human and half animal. So like Shakespeare used to say, the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. That's what you deal with Sagittarius, but they're very happy, bubbly, optimistic people. And I just want to welcome to Astrology Numerology now our new crew member, Dale. Her birthday is December 10th. But if you're a Sagittarius, if you're an Aries, no matter what sign you are, or what sun sign you are, give me a call right now. 212-757-1393 is the number to call. Get to understand who you are from an astrology and numerology point of view. This is 2019. We're about 43 days from 2020, a whole new decade. And there are a lot of you out there who don't know anything other that I'm a Gemini or I'm a Sagittarius, I'm a Scorpio or Aquarius. Know who you are from an astrology point of view. You can know right now if you're watching live. It's November 18th, 2019. I know a lot of you are watching on MNN.org and also a lot of you are watching on the HD channel, High Definition channel on Manhattan Neighborhood Network. 212 757-1393 is the number to call. This is your astrology show. I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing this to bring astrology and numerology awareness so you can understand what's going on from an astrology, numerology point of view. And let me tell you something, men. Let me say something to the men who are watching the show right now. The women are so far ahead of you or when it comes to astrology and numerology, it's a shame. They know how to control you. They know how to control you, what's your favorite things, what you don't like, what you do like, what's your strengths, what's your weaknesses. That's why women are so far ahead when it comes to astrology and numerology and under, com comes to understanding their men and their relationships. 212-757-1393 is the number to call. Now, from a numerology point of view, from a numerology point of view, November 2019 is a number five universal month. It's a number five. How do we get that five? We take the month of November, which is in the number 11, and we add it on to the current calendar year, 2019. So when we do that, we get the number 23. So two plus three equals five. And five is the number of changes. Five is in the middle of the numerology and scale and cycle. Watch all the things that are gonna happen before the end of November, especially when it comes to the political process that we're going through. Watch what happens in the White House over the next couple of weeks. There's going to be some big changes when it comes to this government. There's a lot of revelations that are going to be happening as we, as, as we move along in the, the end of November. But the big thing that we have coming up, it's a five universal month, but the big astrological news right now is that the planet Mercury is going stationary direct. Mercury, which has been retrograde, Mercury, everybody knows about the Mercury retrograde now. 
I was looking at Saturday Night Live, and in one of their skits, they mentioned the Mercury retrograde to that point. Now, everybody in 2019 knows what a Mercury retrograde is. Mercury is the planet of communication. Mercury, let's back up for a second, control room. Mercury is the planet of communications. And Mercury has been retrograde. Let's go back one more picture, please, control room. We're going to get to retroshade for a second. But Mercury is the planet of communications. And this has been a relatively mild sort of kind of Mercury retrograde. It's been mild. It's, it hasn't been catastrophic, so to speak. But because it's in the sign of Scorpio, and Scorpio is about deep secrets, deep mysteries, things that are in the underworld. That's what Scorpio rules. And all this information, a lot of secrets, and a lot of things are getting ready to be revealed when Mercury goes direct. And that's on November 20th. November 20th, which is actually two days away from this live broadcast. Brooklyn, if you're watching the show, Mercury will have just uh, turned stationary direct or have its forward motion and movement. Now, just because uh, Mercury uh, has gone direct, that doesn't mean Mercury is over with. See, Mercury, a Mercury retrograde is usually a, a, a eight week period. It comes in three phases. We had the first phase when Mercury started to slow down on October 10th to October 31st. That's called the first shadow phase. Then we have the actual Mercury retrograde itself, which is October 31st to November 20th. Now, Mercury has to come out of the shadow of his retrograde. A lot of people are out there saying, oh, wow, Mercury's not retrograde anymore. Let me run uh, willy-nilly wild, and I'll do this, and I'll do that. No, you, you have to ease back into or when Mercury goes direct, you, you have to take your time. Now we can show them, control room, the picture retroshade. We can show them retroshade. And as it says, retroshade, the two week shadow period, meaning retro's, Mercury is retracing its steps. The two week shadow period that follows a Mercury retrograde when the stars will mess with your life. So Mercury isn't fully back to normal, but it will be out of the shadow of its retrograde on December 7th. So it goes direct on November 20th, and it gets back to the place where its retrograde began on December 7th, which for you season astrologers is like at about 27 degrees of Scorpio. So Mercury now is starting to, to get well. It's been sort of kind of uh, not functioning at its best. So when it comes back or comes out of the shadow of his retrograde, which is on December 7th, until that time, proceed with caution. Don't rush into things. Again, this Mercury retrograde has been in the sign of Scorpio. Mercury has been in Scorpio for the last two months. Mercury is going to stay in Scorpio for at least until December. So a lot of Scorpio people, and if you have Scorpio rising, there's a lot of self-searching. Self there's a lot of digging deep inside yourself to find out wherever Mercury is in Scorpio is in your chart and get to the bottom of it. So Mercury goes direct on November 20th, but it comes out of the shadow of its retrograde. It comes out of the shadow, or meaning, once again, it gets back to the place where its retrograde began on December 7, 2019. And then, until that period, proceed with caution. 212-757-1393 is the number to call. Got a new background. We got a new show. We're trying to make things look different because there's a planetary shift going on. And everybody should know how the planets and the numbers are moving, spinning, and turning 
and how they affect your everyday life. 212-757-1393 is the number to call. Don't just sit there. <laughs> Give me a call. 212-757-1393 is the number to call. Now, control room, we're gonna have we're gonna hold the Black Friday thing for one minute, but we're gonna jump to the next topic. And one thing about astrology, and I've been into astrology for over 40 years, and one of the things is that you have to go outside and look at the planets move, spin, and turn to get a better understanding. So astrology combines a little bit of astronomy. It combines a little bit of astronomy also when we're dealing with planets and things of an astrological nature. So one of the things that we got coming up, thank you, Dale. Dale, our, our uh, control room specialist, just told me got another call, but I just want to touch on this subject, is that if we go outside, let's say shortly after sundown until about the 24th, we can see the conjunction of Venus and Jupiter in the sign of Sagittarius. See, Sagittarius, this is your last hurrah this week, sort of, kind of. We're going to have a conjunction. Let's show them that, that graphic control room. We're going to have a conjunction of Venus and Jupiter in the sign of Sagittarius. It's going to be a beautiful light. I should have had the picture, but you can see it with your naked eye right after sunset, right after the sun goes down. If you look to the east, and you'll see the conjunction. Put it back up, I'm not done with it. It's very important, especially for you Sagittarius. Venus conjunct Jupiter. The symbol, see astrology is like hieroglyphics. The symbol on the left is the symbol for the planet Venus. In the middle is called the aspect conjunction. And on the right looks like a number four. That's the astrological symbol for Jupiter. So Venus and Jupiter are coming together and for you Sagittarius's in the late decades of Sagittarius, this is going to be one of the most awesome times. Come back to me now. This is going to be one of the most awesome times of the year. Also for other fire signs, especially those in the last decade of whatever fire sign. It's going to be great for Aries. It's going to be great for, for Leo. But I want you to go outside. If you're looking now, if you're watching live TV, you can, I don't know, it's raining outside, but you can go outside and actually see Venus and Jupiter right next to each other. But check at sundown. This is a, you don't see that maybe once a year. We won't have another Venus conjunct Jupiter until, let's say, 2021. It's a phenomenal sight, sort of kind of like an eclipse that we go watch an eclipse every now and then, to see Venus and Jupiter right next to each other in the heavens, it's awesome. We just got through talking about Jupiter in the sign, or Venus and Jupiter in the sign of Sagittarius. It's in the last part of Sagittarius. So all you Sagittarius people who are watching the show, not only is it Sagittarius season beginning on the 22nd, but this is like a, a gateway of opportunity for you to tune in tap into the higher sources in the universe to basically sort of kind of bring in positive energy and positive vibes. Up next, it is Capricorn. Now, part of this shift is dealing with Capricorns also. And one of the things in Capricorn that we're gonna deal with is, and we're gonna speed read this for now, Venus is in the sign of Capricorn. Venus is gonna be in the sign of Capricorn on November 25th. There's the symbol for Venus on the left. The symbol for Capricorn on the right. Venus is in the sign of Capricorn from the 25th, or on November 25th, uh, to about January 3rd. That's how long Venus is in the sign of Capricorn. Sagittarius people, are you listening? We have a new moon in the sign of Sagittarius on November 26, 2019. A couple of days before Thanksgiving, we have to be careful as we go through the woods and through the woods to grandmama's house we go 
Venus or the new moon in the sign of Sagittarius. So it's a great time to put out a lot of positive vibrations. Connect with your spiritual side. That's what Venus and Capricorn is about. It's about correcting or connecting your spiritual side. Up next, for you Pisces people out there, and for my buddy Sharon, I know she's watching, and I know she'll be glad to hear this. Your ruling planet, if you have Pisces rising or sun sign in Pisces, your ruling planet is about to go direct. Neptune turns stationary direct on November 27th. Neptune has been retrograde since June 21st. So Neptunian, Neptunian people like Pisces, or we have Pisces rising, it's your opportunity. We have, uh, up next, we have Mars. We have Mars, come back to me. We have Mars conjunct Uranus, or Mars uh, is gonna be opposite. Take that down, just put, leave the lower third. We have Mars opposite Uranus, and but the big thing is, we're going out of order control room, the big thing that we have coming up that everyone should be aware of, especially Capricorns, is Jupiter in the sign of Capricorn. Jupiter's in the sign of Capricorn from December 2nd to December 19, 2020. Jupiter stays in sign for a whole year. It stays in the sign for a whole year. So this is a great opportunity for a lot of Capricorn people and last but not least, our person of the week is Kanye West. Kanye West, <laughs> what's wrong with that boy? <laughs> what's, what's wrong with him? Well, Kanye, he's a Gemini, and, and he has Pisces rising and Cancer rising in his astrology chart. So a lot of people say, Starman, what side is Kanye? Kanye is a Gemini, along with Donald Trump, uh, uh, Pence, and Giuliani, they're all Geminis, including Z Starman. I'm a Gemini also. But before we go, uh, Thanksgiving is coming up, and a lot of people do a lot of shopping on Thanksgiving, finding discounts. I want to offer my viewers a discount. Like you find discounts on Black Friday, I want to offer you a discount on your astrology numerology consultation. Let's show them how to get in touch with me. There's astrology numerology consultations, professional and affordable. You don't have to pay an arm and a leg for an astrology reading. A lot of people are paying hundreds of dollars for astrology readings, but you don't have to pay that much with Z-Star, man. I have a Black Friday special. A lot of you are watching the show towards Thanksgiving and Black Friday. Until December 2nd, you get a huge discount on an astrology reading, a recorded reading, and an astrology chart for one low, super special Black Friday price. And that's going to be till December 2nd. Don't be paying or don't pay an arm and a leg for an astrology numerology reading. Take me up on my Black Friday offer. It starts now, actually. It starts right now if you're watching on live television. That's about all the time we have for astrology, numerology now. I want to thank my control room, Dietra, uh, our director and producer, Dietra Kelsey, our new crew member, Dale, and my main man, who's always there, Stan the Man Mitchell. This is Z Star Man for Astrology, Numerology Now. Wishing you a happy and safe Thanksgiving weekend. Take me up on my Black Friday special on astrology and numerology readings. I'm wishing you peace, love, light, namaste. From the beginning of earth and throughout eternity, that's the stars of the Planets of life mm, Who controls your very soul